Hello everyone, and this is Sincere of Teacher Sincere's channel, and welcome. So, I decided to redo this week's video because I um, came back home this afternoon and was looking at my channel, and I looked actually at the video, and I noticed that I made a massive mistake um, that really I don't want to just let slide. Uh, so I want to correct the mistake. So I decided to just go back and redo the video and make it shorter because I really did not want to make a video that was over 20 minutes. I would have liked to make a more compact video. So that's what I've come back to do. So let's begin uh, with my new remake of uh, my remake, actually, of this week's video. So this is a website called uh, worldatlas.com. And um, this article actually goes back um, before the uh, pandemic. So it, it's maybe around 2017 or so, maybe 2018. Um, I don't know if the date is actually on it, but uh, I'm, I'm familiar with this website and this actual page. So um, it says, which countries read the most? All right, so they do have a little short, uh, they have some short reading here. Um, and it says, uh, I'm just going to read the first paragraph, the importance of reading. And it says, being able to read is one of the most important basic skills that a person can learn today. In fact, reading is crucial to being able to relate to and take part in society. It is required for reading traffic signs, medical instructions, and news stories. Additionally, accessing information online or in books and magazines helps keep people educated and informed about the world around them. The human brain needs constant development and reading is just the activity to help. Reading helps people create a more active imagination and leads to higher levels of creativity as well. So where in the world do people spend the most time reading? Okay, so we'll go down um, here. They actually list some of the countries, the top uh, three, I think. Yeah. Um, and this is actually the ta a table here showing the data of which countries read the most. Now, unfortunately, I have not been able uh, to find uh, any data or any statistics that covers all the countries of the world. I would really love to find some uh, graph or information about that, but I haven't been able to. Usually it's only maybe about 30 or so countries. But uh, I've noticed on the websites that I've looked up this information, um, the rankings of the countries they're pretty similar okay um usually number one will be india and you might say why india how did india end up ranking the highest in hours read a, per week um well if you look at the population of india they have over a billion people now that doesn't mean that all billion people are into reading of course not you're not gonna, you're not going to find a country where everybody enjoys reading okay are uh, you going to find illiterate people in you know just about every country um, but India, um, if you just take a small percentage of a huge population like they have, it's naturally going to be a lot of people. OK, and you're going to end up having people that read on a much more regular or daily basis. So India is number one. And also, too, if you notice in, uh, in my country, if you live in the United States, uh, a good many of the doctors that we have here now um, are uh, from South Asia, countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. So, yeah. Uh, and of course, Pakistan, Bangladesh used to be a part of India. All right. Number two is Thailand. Now, I believe it because I believe it's a possibility. Um, why? Because um, the first ed tech company that I worked for, I um, it was based in Vietnam. And about eight months into having that job, uh, teaching online, they transferred me over to teaching people in Thailand. And a lot of the students that I had would often say, that reading was their hobby. This was both males and females. Um, of course, you had some students say they like Netflix or a good many of them said they like Korean dramas. They enjoyed those, watching those as a hobby. But a good many of them, I was really impressed that a good many of, of the Thai students would say that their hobby, if, you know, if, when asked, they would say that it's, re it's, it's reading. China is number three. Um, also, some of the India, probably huge population. And so even though less, maybe less than half of the people might be into reading, um, even if you get a small percentage, it's going to be, I mean, if you just take the size of a, some, a Chinese city, some of the cities, it, it's going to be, um, if you have a good many people there, um, 
and that enjoy reading it or bibliophiles or bookworms. Yeah, it could happen that it would be like number three. Uh, number four is the Philippines. I haven't really interacted um, with uh, Filipino people. Uh, years ago, we had a family doctor um, that was Filipino, but I haven't really interacted with them. So I don't know, you know, sort of what their outlooks, their hobbies you know, if you got an idea of what the average Filipino, what they might would like, I, I just don't know. Now, number five, Egypt, I could say very possibly because um, when I opened my Goodread account, I think back, Goodreads account, I think back in around 2010 or so, uh, some of the first people that sent me uh, friends requests for, for from countries like Egypt and Algeria, places like Egypt and Algeria. Yeah. And, and, and um, I think Morocco as well. Um, so yeah, uh, a good possibility. Uh, I've seen videos on YouTube, of uh, book fairs being held in, uh, parts of Egypt. So yeah, I think, um, it's a good possibility. Number six is the Czech Republic. I haven't interacted much with people from Czechia. I did have a man call me last year, uh, that was from there that called me for a lesson, but he was the only one. So, but I can say that on Goodreads, uh, uh I have a sizable amount of, Goodreads friends that live in Eastern Europe, countries like Bulgaria and Moldova. Uh, so yeah, uh, Sweden, Sweden is Sweden, Sweden is number seven. Eight is France. Ten is Hungary, and I mean nine is Hungary, and ten is Saudi Arabia. Now on another website, I saw Hungary and Saudi Arabia listed both together as nine, number nine. Okay, and um, on another website, Hong Kong was actually higher. If you go on down, you'll notice that Turkey is 18. I've seen on other websites, Turkey ranks about 22 on some others, whereas the United States here is 22, but I've seen like 25. Um, now, according to one of my students, I was talking to him the other week, who is Turkish. He was telling me that, you know, he tries to read about 30 minutes a day, but he was saying that a lot of Turkish people don't read. Um, from my experience, I haven't had many Turkish people tell me that their hobby was reading. Um, I've had, I had another student uh, that's a young woman. Um, I haven't seen her in a while. She was, she was sort of an irregular student, but she enjoyed reading. She enjoyed reading the classics. I have a few um, Turkish people on my Goodreads page, but um, like I said, um, I just haven't been told by a lot of Turkish friends that they enjoy reading. Um, uh, that, that That's a hobby of theirs. So, um, but yeah, uh, uh, Turkey going back up again, Turkey is ranked 18 on this page and the U S 22. Um, I'm rather surprised going back to Germany. I'm surprised that Germany is just right above the United States at 21. I would think it actually would be higher than that, but I don't know how things are changing. Attitudes about things are changing in Germany. I don't know. Um, I do know back years ago, I had a friend, a very good friend, um, that was an exchange student from Germany. Um, she attended the university uh, here when I was, um, I think I had started graduate school, I think. But she was an exchange student. Uh, and she was telling me in Germany, uh, students um, start learning English in kindergarten. Um, and I also have a German friend that's a blogger. Uh, and sometimes he sends um, uh, his blog, he emails um, um his uh, when he does a new blog post and he writes his blog is both in English and in German. So um, I'm just I'm kind of surprised about Germany. The United States, I'm, I'm I would think lower than 22 actually. <laughs> and then they have here 29 Korea and that's as low that's as many as they have, just 29. All right, so um, let's look at one more page and then I'm going to cut it short. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to do a quick look at an infographic on the website called Global English Editing, uh, geediting.com. And um, this is by no means complete, okay? But I want to point out some highlights on here. Um, this is from 2021, this infographic. Uh, it has some interesting points, but then at the same time, it is very or highly lacking. Okay, the, they say here... Um, that the romance genre is the most popular among U.S. readers. Yes, I would say so. And I would also add uh, also science, sci-fi, science fiction, uh, fantasy, dystopian novels, and probably self-help books. 
as well, along with romance, the romance genre. Um, let's go down to the uh, infographic. Uh, they don't. They only cover a few places. They don't include South America. They don't include Australia. But I just want to point out some highlights here. Um, now, this was this this actually this uh, was posted back in December of 2021. All right. So the reading habits in the United States. Uh, 23% of U.S. adults haven't read a book in the past 12 months. Among them, 26% of men versus 21% of women haven't read books. Uh, I would say it's probably higher than that. That's just my estimate. Um, you know, there are people that read here. I mean, when we when you have, when we have the uh, book sales at the library. You go to certain, if you go to, um, uh, my mother and I went to uh, a thrift store. Uh, on Sunday, um, next week, I'll be showing the, the book haul that uh, I did. Um, there were people in the book section. Okay. I was surprised. There were people, you know, hanging out in the book section. We weren't the only ones. We were the only African-Americans there, but there were other people there. Um, so, um, but uh, not surprising that more men do not read, whereas women don't. Okay. But I do think that it's more than 23% of Americans. I would say probably close to half of the population never reads. Okay. Um, maybe something on the internet, but sitting down and really doing some really, really uh, intense reading, uh, reading books. I don't, I, I don't know. I doubt it. Um, let's see. 39% of Americans prefer newly printed books and only 5% prefer audio books. Uh, some of the uh, booktubers on here, uh, they um, do a mix of hardcover paperback, ebooks, and audiobooks. Myself, I do not listen to audiobooks. I prefer just regular books or ebooks. Okay. Reading habits in Europe, um, quite limited here. Um, they say that Poland, Finland, Poland, and Estonia have the biggest group of bookworms. Um, European book readers spend more than one hour per day reading. Uh, 56% of the EU's population aged 16 to 73 have at least a basic level of digital literacy. So they know how to use. So from teenagers up to senior citizens, you have uh, people in Europe that are able to you know, use phones and uh, uh, smartphones and tablets and the uh, Internet and know how to email and all of that. OK, um, then we have a graph here. Um, Finland, Poland, Estonia are at the top. Greece follows behind them. Uh, Germany and Turkey have about the same reading time. They include Turkey on here, though, you know, depending on some uh, website or places, Turkey will get listed as Middle East because, you know, most of the country is in West Asia. Uh, but, um, but yeah, Germany and Turkey are about the same reading level. I would think that Germany would be higher, but I guess things have changed over the years in Turkey. I mean, in Germany, um, Norway is actually has the most percentage of people reading, uh, which is not surprising because um, Norway, uh, from what I've heard, has one of the best uh, educational systems in the world. And they also uh, treat their teachers and pay their teachers very well. Um, so let's go down to reading habits in Asia. Um, we see that about India, Thailand and China at the top. Um 12% of Koreans said their top New Year's goal is to achieve personal development, mainly through reading books. So 12% want to get, uh, uh, you know, improve themselves by reading books. Okay. Uh, they have a listing here of 10 translated books written by Asian women authors. I'm going to look for that and see if they're in English. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm going to look for it. Well, they are obviously they have the titles in English. So I'm going to look for that and see if there's anything that uh, suits my interest. All right. Reading habits in Africa. Very limited information. Reading is uh, reading is the fifth most popular leisure activity in Africa. Seven out of 10 African adults claim to read for leisure. Uh, only 14 percent of South Africans read books. They mostly focus on South Africa. <laughs> I don't know why they don't list hardly anything. Um only 7% of people in South Africa uh, live in a house with more than 10 books. Only 25% of South African adults read books. Okay. And then they have countries, which countries have the highest literacy rate. The highest literacy rates um, uh, are in East Asia and the Pacific at 
Sub-Saharan Africa at the lowest is 65.47%. Men have the widest gap, the, the widest amount of literacy worldwide more than women. So there are more men overall in the world that are literate compared to women. Uh, the worldwide literacy rate in 2021 was 86%. Um, the countries with the highest literacy rate at 100% are Andorra, Luxembourg, Norway, and Liechtenstein or Liechtenstein. They are all in Europe. Countries with close to complete literacy rates are Azerbaijan, Cuba, Georgia, Tajikistan, Russia, and Poland. And least, the five least, Guinea, Niger, Djibouti, in Africa, and Karabati, and Neo, I guess, I think they are in the Pacific. Okay. Um, and then they have more information here. Uh, what I'm going to do is leave these two uh, websites in the uh, description. You can go back and look at them in more detail. Like I said, they're not completely, uh, they don't completely cover everything. Now, if I do find, if I ever run across or in research happen to come across uh, a website that gives the data for all the countries in the world about the reading habits of people, I will definitely share it on here. Okay. All right. All right, so I, I'm wrapping up uh, this week's video, uh, the remake of uh, what I did previously. So I hope this one is not so tedious to listen to. Uh, it's, uh, I tried to make it as short and sweet as I could, okay? All right, well, thank you uh, for watching my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. So this is Sincere. Until next time.